infinite void. Ah. Hello, everybody, it's Gage here, and welcome to my unboxing interview of the SH Figuarts Satoru Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. And before we get into this review, please allow me to just take a few seconds out of this review to talk about one of my favorite shonen series of all time, Jujutsu Kaisen. This is a show that is well worth the hype. This show has been getting talked about non-stop for the past month and a half. I've been hearing about it so much. I finally watched it, and holy moly, just like Demon Slayer, this show was amazing. People are not gaslighting you when it comes to the show, guys. It is that fucking good. The action is incredible. The characters are so lovable. The music is phenomenal. Everything about this show absolutely slaps. If you have not watched Jujutsu Kaisen, dear God, watch it. It is fucking awesome. I will go on record right now, and I'm really not trying to be like a Demon Slayer hater right now, but I will tell you straight up. I enjoyed season one of this show more than season one of Demon Slayer. That is all I'm going to say. I'm, real, I'm not trying to be a dick to Demon Slayer and think I love Demon Slayer. But for some reason, I want to compare these two shows because they're both shonens and they're both fairly recent shonens. So that's why I'm saying it. But I liked this show more than Demon Slayer. That's all I'm going to say. So without further ado, let's jump into this review. I had to get a figure of this character, Satoru Gojo, because he is my absolute favorite character from this show. I really liked a lot of characters from this show, um, but he was my absolute favorite. I loved him. I loved him so much. I had to get a figure of him. And uh, this is the one I decided to go with because I heard a lot of people say it was a really top-notch figure. So I decided to grab this one. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the review. There's not really much to go over on this box here. You have a picture of Satoru. Uh, Satoru Gojo right there, you have a picture of him unmatched right there, you have uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, you have Tamashii Nation, Bandai, little seal of approval to show that it's not a bootleg on the side, Satoru Gojo on the back, you have some poses and product shots and all that, on this side you have more sh product shots and all that, and all that, and yeah, nothing, yeah, there we go, it's just a box, let's get this thing open. Alrighty, please forgive the background change. This figure literally would not show up on my, uh, on my standard background. So there's green in the back now to hopefully help Gojo pop out a little bit more. But here is the SH Figure Arts Gojo. And this is a very nice figure. I like this figure quite a lot. So here he is. This is the man himself, the ultimate being, the most overpowered shonen character you've probably ever seen in your life. Honestly, this dude could beat Muzan from Demon Slayer. Here he is. Go, uh, Go, Satoru Gojo. And they, did a great job on this figure. You can see the head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. It definitely looks like Gojo. You have the white hair. You have the signature blindfold. You have a nice little smirk right there. Absolutely fantastic. And you can see the outfit is pretty much perfect Gojo. I mean, it's a very plain outfit. Not really much to go over when it comes to the neck down. He does have his collar up here, which is very nice. And that is on a ball joint, so it moves around with the head. Very convenient figure. I like the articulation a lot. Like, you have some uh, butterfly joints right here. You have double-jointed elbows right here, as well as double-jointed knees, which is very awesome. And that's really good because it allows you to get a lot of really great, uh, like, poses, even though Gojo wasn't... Gojo wasn't really... Wow, that look at that. Look how well that looks, actually. Um, Gojo wasn't really like this. This was, uh, this is more of like a Yuji pose right here, but still very cool. I mean, Gojo was, uh, Gojo literally would just stand still and then annihilate you. That was pretty much his thing. He just walks up and rips your fucking head off. So, yeah, but uh, very cool. I mean, there's not really much to complain about it. I mean, it is a plain design, and I think that kind of goes without saying because, you know, that is just Gojo's design, but it, it's a really good Gojo figure. Like, if I bring in for a comparison here, here's a Marvel Legend. Spider-Man, so you can see he's basically the scale of a Marvel Legends figure, if you see there. So, yeah, it's pretty much uh, the scale you're looking at right there. Just a lot more articulation and just feels a lot nicer. Like, the overall quality feels really good. There's no looseness in the joints or anything like that. The figure feels very, very high quality. And, yeah, I mean, it's just really, really good. So, moving on to the accessories. Actually, real quick, let me give you guys a few more comparisons with some other anime figures. I'll bring in Nezuko and Mako right here, so you can see how it looks with some Figmas. And yeah, I think the scale is okay between these. I mean, this is a, these are like teenagers and he's a grown man, so I think the scale could absolutely work right here. I mean, it's probably not dead on. He might be a little tall, but probably not by much. I'm sorry, this camera, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking smash it with a sledgehammer, dude. This is like so annoying. 
Okay, I can't get it to look better, so there you go. There you have your comparison with some Figmas right there. Very, very nice. Now getting into the accessories. Now, first up, you get a ton of hands with Gojo. First up, you get a you get an infinite void hand right here, which is absolutely awesome. And you can plug this right here. You can take this hand off and you can plug this on and then you can give him the infinite void pose right there. We could totally switch this hand with, uh, I don't know, maybe like, uh, maybe one of these claw like hands, like this one right here. And we could plug that on like that. And we could totally have him be like, there we go. Although this head sculpt doesn't really match this pose we have going on right here. Now we get. And unmasked head sculpt as well, which is absolutely awesome. Now, I have to be honest, this looks a little young for me. He looks less like Gojo and more like fucking Jack Frost from the, uh, the uh, Rise of the Guardians movie. But, uh, this is the head sculpt we get. And it doesn't look bad. It just looks a little young. Like, I mean, just maybe just a little bit too young, but not horrible. And there you go. You can give him the unmasked head sculpt and you can have him go full on infinite void right there, which is pretty darn Cool, yeah, look at that. That looks very good. Well, I'm sure you'd like to look at it, but my camera's a piece of shit. There we go. I think you can get a good look there. Look at that. That is very, very cool. Very cool. I really like this figure, man. It is growing on me more and more as I mess with it. And you have a bunch more hands as well. You have this one for some curse techniques going on right there. These are like locked together so you can get some really cool things right there. You have this hand right here so he can be like... <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to do this, but I totally am. He can be like, your dick is this big. <laughs> That's absolutely something Gojo would do, dude. Oh, man, dude, the more I play with this figure, the more I really, really like it. This figure just poses really, really well. Like, you can get him in so many great poses. The look is pretty much spot on. Like, look at that. That looks really great. Now, what you're actually supposed to do with this is I think you're supposed to use this with the uh, with the unmasked head and you get this alternate blindfold piece right here. So I guess you could, like, put this on here, put this on there, and then you can take the blindfold and kind of put his hand in the blindfold right there, so it kind of looks like he's taking the blindfold off. That doesn't look too bad. That does not look too bad, if you ask me. Yeah, not too bad. It looks pretty cool. Not, uh, not amazing or anything like that, but hey, they tried, and, uh, you know what? It's the thought. It's the thought that counts. So, there you go. That is pretty much all the accessories you get. I think those are all the hands. You get some fists. You get, uh, oh, you get kind of a more, like, relaxed hand right here, so that's pretty good as well. And you get the, uh, oh, it looks like some kind of gripping hand right there. I don't know. You could probably do a kind of a, a more relaxed pose right here if you, like, plug this one on right there and we can plug in this one right here and then we can swap the head for the blindfolded head because that's the standard head oh my god he's like poking my hand <laughs> and we could get him standing up straight here and we can have kind of a standard Relax Gojo right there if you wanted to. I mean, not absolutely perfect. Would be nice if they could have given like some uh, just straight up relaxed hands, but still very good. Although, to be honest, like having this guy in this pose, like why on earth would you ever do that with this figure? With the way this figure poses, you can get this guy in so many amazing poses. Like that is... That is pretty spectacular, so uh, I think that's just about everything to go over with this guy. We did comparisons, we did all the accessories, not really much to talk about with the figure itself. It is just a really damn good Satoru Gojo figure. Like, uh, I don't know what else to give you, man. It just It's a really good Gojo figure. You got amazing sculpting, head sculpt is dead on, which is really all you need to get right with a Gojo figure is the head sculpt. Well, obviously you need to get the whole thing right, but go, but the head sculpt is really the, uh, the big thing to get right. And I think they knocked you out of the park. The accessories are great. I love the unmasked head sculpt. I love all the hands you get. There definitely can do some fun stuff with all the hands and all the curse techniques. Posability is just absolutely phenomenal. I wonder, so you have these like cutouts right here. I wonder if you could like, if you did like something like, well, actually, what if you took the hand off entirely and kind of stuffed the ball? Yeah, there you go. You could totally have like a, uh, like his hands are in his pocket if you wanted to right there. So that's another thing you could definitely do if you wanted to. Very, very cool. Yeah, this is a really good figure, guys. If you want a Gojo figure, if you want a posable Gojo figure, 
I think this is definitely going to be your best bet. There is a Figma one coming out later, but Figmas tend to be very small. So if you like the scale of the, uh, the Marvel Legends scale right here, like him with a Marvel Legends, and here's also here's another Marvel Legends right here, which is actually a little bit bigger than the Spider-Man one. Um, if you see, this is like the scale you're looking at with this one. This is basically a six-inch scale figure. The Figma one will most likely be a five-inch scale figure because I do believe Figma is five-inch scale for the most part. So uh, if you want a taller uh, Gojo that still works fairly well with your other figures and they do have the other characters as well they do have a yuji they have a megumi and they have uh nobara coming out nobara yeah nobara coming out later this year and i honestly might get nobara because i love nobara nobara is probably my second favorite character from the show i don't know uh i love gojo i love nobara and i really like inumaki as well so those are probably my my favorite characters from the show but honestly dude the more i play with this figure the more i mess around with him and pose him this is an amazing gojo figure seriously the posability the look this guy just moves and looks so smooth so fluid it's it's an amazing gojo figure if you want a posable gojo figure yeah i can't recommend this enough this is really 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 amazing i love it <laughs> okay i'm recording a little extra segment at the end here uh just to say the grade on this figure i mean i don't see any reason not to give this figure an s tier for the price it's a very nice figure man it's it's really good i think i've already uh said my piece on that but i actually forgot an accessory you you actually get an alternate faceplate for the uh the standard blindfolded head right here you can take the face off of this and you can give him this laughing face right here which is actually a really cool accessory and I'm uh, I'm sorry I almost forgot about it but yeah you can do that and you can have Gojo laughing right there because uh, I don't know maybe he's being challenged by some petty villain who wants to turn him into a coat rack and he's like ah, yeah that's a that's a funny joke but yeah that's a pretty cool accessory that you also get right there and uh yeah i mean i think that is pretty much all there is to go over so once again s tier really like this figure if you want a gojo figure definitely could give this one my recommendation so there you have it thanks for watching dk guillotine signing out